Hi guys, Loco again. This time I'm going to show you my Beatles solo albums after I showed you the Beatles one. Paul McCartney, Russian one. Pipes of Peace. I have mostly more McCartney and Lennon than Har and Harrison. I do have a good collection of George Harrison albums too. Wings Greatest, London Town. Great album. Venus and Mars. London Town has a poster, by the way. Pretty cool. The Triple Wings Live in America. A triple live album. Only McCartney would do such a thing. Wings at the Speed of Sound and ta -da, Red Rose Speedway. Band on the Run. Classic. The Wildlife. McCartney and Wings. More McCartney than anything else, but still. Ram. First album with the shape. Concert for Bangladesh box set. Uh, great albums, dude. Love this George Harrison stuff. The box set of All Things Must Pass. The box set itself is pretty worn out, but the albums inside are great. Love it. This is a pretty odd one. Electronic Sounds. This is one that's not that easy to find. Pretty odd album that George Harrison did in the late 60s, but great. Because it's something you would never expect from a guy like George Harrison to do. He's a great musician, but this is definitely a weird one. Where you want to have a best of George. Love this one with that cover song. Got my mind set on you. Ringo thing plays in this one. Well, he plays in a, quite a few, as you guys know, George albums. Oh, George. More George. Now coming up, Lennon. And I know you guys heard of this album, The Wedding Album. This is an official, original wedding album. And yes, I will show you without the brown paper bag that it comes in. This is the brown paper bag. And of course, it has here a quote from the Bible. Also, Genesis chapter 2, is it? I believe. And they put the brown paper bag because course back in the late 60s you couldn't have a cover of two people this is the brown paper bag just to let you know and now comes the album without the brown paper bag and as you can see they're in naked in the buff there's a back picture of Lennon and Yoko the, the actual cover is a little worn out this cover the vinyl is in beautiful shape with the Apple logo it's the two virgins album is the name of it officially and uh, it's a great piece to have. It's extremely collectible. I mean, this is something that was issued in very limited quantities. And obviously, due to obvious reasons, of course, um, it was artistic. It was something that Lennon and Yoko wanted to do. And they did. The brown paper bag makes it an unusual piece, too. It was released by Tetra Grammon here in the States. Double Fantasy. Well, no, Milk and Honey. Roll with me. Great song. Imagine. This Imagine, now, does it have the poster? I'm not sure. It has... Yeah, it does have the poster. Actually, I wanted to show you it. This is him and John playing with the piano. It's a big, huge poster. Very nice. I mean, this is one I would actually try to put, put up there. When I have time, I might put it on the wall. Double Fantasy. Everybody has this one, his last album. While he was alive. Uh, the John Lennon collection is a must-have for people who want to start getting into John Lennon. Because it has a lot of great songs, Watching the Wheel, Woman, Imagine, of course. Oh, I had another Imagine album. This one without the poster. What, and another Imagine? I have three? I did not know that. So I only had two. Well, you know, when you have a lot of records, you lose count. Julian, his son, The Secret Value of Daydreaming, he's released two or three albums. This one is, to me, by far his best. And my only Ringo album. And I know Ringo has released some decent albums. You know, he's a decent uh, drummer. Not a singer, obviously. So this is my Beatles solo collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is LP Loco saying have a great one. Merry Crinkle to all you.
and a happy crinkle on my face. <laughs>